So we don't actually know how it is linked, but we do know it is linked. Uh, it's associated colon cancer. Uh, for example, Fusobacteria are enriched at the tumor surface, and we don't know whether they're causally uh, uh, involved or whether just bystanders, meaning that at the tumor the metabolism changed and so other bacteria uh, come close. So uh, that is one clear link, and uh, we can even see that as a clear association in stool, uh, so far away from the tumor uh, in colon cancer, uh, between certain microbiota and the disease status. So we have found an association with the microbiota, uh, quite a number of species with colon cancer. And we have also found uh, that it's uh, good enough this kind of signal to see at the early stage by environmental sequencing of stool samples or something non-invasive. And uh, this obviously uh, goes towards diagnostic potential uh, because if there is a, a statistically significant signal, we might try to exploit it for practical purposes. So it's early days, so we, we don't know the full answer yet. We have only a few hundred participants where we can make those associations. And uh, I would guess colonoscopy is still a bit better, but also the ergonomics have to be taken into account. It's very expensive. It's not a pleasant process. So if you have something before colonoscopy to make an early prediction, this would be ideal. And uh, the FOBIT test you mentioned is one of those early indicators. And here we think uh, that the microbiota brings us strong and also a different signal from the FOBIT test, which basically uh, measures blood uh, in stool, uh, inflation, inflation, uh, formation related processes, and we could show that the microbiota signal is a different one or partially different one. So a combination of the two increases the power uh, considerably. I don't know. In principle, it could go very fast. Uh, so we're doing now screenings with certain markers already in, in, in several studies. But uh, this, again, is early days. We don't know the results. It might take also a long time, uh, uh, again, because there are economic factors playing a role, all kinds of health systems of countries. It's a long process to get something to the market. But uh, even as scientists, we are full of hope that it's not taking too long. For me, it's a kind of a dualism. On the one hand, we see this exciting process of a quickly emerging uh, and expanding field with lots of new scientific results. On the other hand, it's uh, uh, becoming clear it's a very complex business. Microbiota, we have thousand species in us uh, in, in a gut alone. Um, so that one shouldn't raise too many expectations because uh, there are lots of things to be sorted out. Again, it's very early days, very exciting, uh, but there's some patient need, patients need it before uh, the really uh, applications in medicine will, uh, for example, uh, result from. <music>